Hey guys, welcome to Power Watch Garage. Um, today I'm kind of working on my 2013 Dodge uh, Challenger RT, and I'm having a a uh, one right down the road. I'm having this clunk issue, and uh, look research videos, and uh, a lot of them are saying these uh, stabilizer end links, which uh, have side to side movement, but not up and down movement, and uh, this lower control arm right here. Uh, when you go up in here, I can put a pry bar, which I have it in there, and I do have up and down movement on it, which uh, is when the car is hitting bumps is when I hear the move, hear, hear it. And uh, it actually looks, when you look in there, the rubber grommet in there, it doesn't look tore, but I really can't see in there a whole lot. I'm about blind anyway. I'm a diabetic and about can't see anyway. And check the upper ball joint up here, put a pry bar in here and pulled on it, and it didn't move at all. And, uh, you know, I checked the shock or strut and uh, checked all these ball joints, the sin link ball joint. And uh, there's absolutely no movement in it, up and down at all. And uh, <coughs> this lower control arm on, on this grommet right here that goes in here that's bad about going bad, it doesn't have any movement, but inside here there's up and down movement let's see if i can get it to go up and down a little bit from being here i mean it's not e extremely bad but they say you're not supposed to have any movement in it whatsoever and i don't know if that's bad enough to be replaced or not and i put in this one this uh, i guess this is a control arm too See if I can get my finger right there. It goes down to a ball joint and it goes into here. Uh, I've put the pry ball right in here and pulled up and down on it. It doesn't move at all either. So there's nothing just really 100% that stands out to me. <coughs> Excuse me. That uh, could be 100% the culprit. Except for that lower ball joint <coughs> where it's up and down there. And as you can see, there is a gap right there <coughs> on that stabilizer bushing at which uh, I tried getting it to move and it won't move any but even though there's a gap right there it's kind of hard to tell whether that's going to be the culprit or not but whatever it is that's happening on this side and uh, I'm going to do some more uh, prodding and poking and see if I can't figure out what it is and if any of y'all are actually trying to figure out what it could be in your car and you're having the same thing once i find it uh, i'll show you how i found it and uh i'll do another video showing how i found it and then probably how i fixed it video but uh anyway it's just something i'm working on today um also i went to uh walmart and i showed you the tires that i had put on here it had 245 45 20s and i put these uh 255 30 or was it 35 let's see two 255 35 zr20 on here and uh i like the way they look a heck of a lot better than uh what was on there but it looks like this guy put a bazillion weights in this tire because i get a vibe my steering wheel vibrates um, at about 50 miles an hour it looks like he was trying to figure out how to put them in there and I'm kind of wondering if maybe that's my vibration. It's just, um, he said that his machine was showing my wheel being a 21 inch wheel, but it's a 20, 20 inch wheel. So I'm gonna have to take this back somewhere to another reputable shop and have them put it on their balance machine to see if this thing's balanced right. Could be where my vibration's coming from. But uh, I think it's a good looking tire. Uh, like I said, I didn't pay, but $150 for two of them shipped to my front door. Uh, don't fall which you know he put it on the back of the wheel but you know when I bought the car and had them put on the other guys put them on the, the uh, front part of the wheel maybe he didn't do that because he just didn't want to take the time to to clean the, the glue or whatever was on the, the original ones let's see if he done the same over here when he done this one and, yep put them in the back too I don't know if that makes a difference or not. See how these weights are 
in the front and he's put the weights in the back of the wheel. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but I guess I'll take it to another shop and we'll see. But uh, I'm putting Lauren Springs on this for everybody, you know, sees the gap that's in here, which it is jacked up, but it, there's probably about a three or four inch gap or bigger because of these tires being a lower profile tire. But as soon as I 100% find what's causing this clunk, what's been driving me nuts, it's been doing this since I got it. And it's usually when you hit bumps and stuff or ruts, patches in the road or something. But whenever I find the culprit 100%, I'll do another video showing you and probably do a video of uh, where I bought the parts and and uh, maybe an install video. But anyway, um, if you're looking to try to figure out what this clunk noise in your car, there's bazillion videos on YouTube. Uh, just about every single one of them has a different uh, outcome. But uh, anyway, this one was mine, my addition to that. So uh, as soon as I figure out what's 100% wrong with it, then I'll let you guys know. Uh, but anyway, peace out, bye.